So, what do you think? Great truck, man. Visibility is awesome. Turning radius was great. Now I see more trucks around me, so I'm, I'm going to need you to tell me about them. Yes, uh, these are our all new medium duty models that will be replacing our current medium duty lineup. Right behind you is our T180 Class 5. The one you drove is a T280 Class 6. So these two are non CDL. The one next to it is a T480V, which is our Class 8 vocational hood model. And right behind me is the T380, which is our Class 7. So how do these differ from today's medium duty that we offer? Besides the different look, there's a lot of things that we've changed. The truck was redesigned completely from the ground up. So all new exterior, redesigned interior, the all new chassis components, brand new fuel tanks, suspension, everything was redesigned from the ground up. It's great to hear. I'm looking behind me and I see two very similar trucks, but I know they're different. So can you tell me the difference? What, what makes a T180 a T180 and what makes this the T280? So you notice the hoods are exactly the same. You can see the T180 sits a little bit lower, better ingress, egress. The difference between the two models is of course, there's a class five, 19 and a half inch tires, and it's a 19 and a half K GVW. And this truck is also standard with hydraulic brakes. The other difference that you notice um, is the roof height. T180 has a low roof and the T280 has a raised roof. There's a four inch difference between the two. And this roof is used for cranes and uh, booms. And you can get either roof on either model. Okay, so basically if you're looking for clearance, you're gonna wanna go for the low roof. One thing I noticed on both of them, we've got this little antenna up there. Class 8, we obviously have Truck Tech Plus. Is that what that is? And that's exactly what it is. So all of our new mini -mini models will have an option for Truck Tech Plus remote diagnostics, just like our heavy duty models. So the fleets or even private owners will be able to keep track of their vehicle health um, online through our uh, Packard Solutions portal. That's great to hear. Can you tell me more about the hood design and the cab itself? the exterior of the truck. I mean, it's a very different looking truck. So what went into that? How did we, how, where did the cab come from? where did the hood come from? Absolutely. When we did the interviews with customers and drivers, one of the most important things they wanted is the bigger and wider cab to have three person seating. So we took our heavy duty 2.1 meter and we modified it to uh, fit the medium duty chassis. To match the wider cab, we had to redesign the hood but also keep the sloped hood for greater visibility. Combined with the wide hood, you have a panoramic view uh, in front of the truck and gives you better ground strike visibility. They both have the redesigned grill and crown. So the grill is still metal and we have a redesigned crown that'll be available in chrome or in malt uh, gray color. I'm seeing down here, we've got a radar and I'm assuming this is our Bendix radar. We've got a new dash inside the truck, and while I was driving it, I noticed a lot of safety features. So I'm assuming we've got Bendix Fusion available on, on, on the new medium duty product. So we have Bendix Fusion available on T370 today, and we are carrying it over to all the new medium duty models. So you'll be able to get Bendix Fusion on all of the models. You wanna hop inside and show me what, what's new on the inside of this Absolutely. thing? Absolutely, let's go. So as you can see, Brandon, we redesigned the interior completely. One of the biggest changes uh, we made is the brand new digital display, which includes a seven inch high definition display with customizable digital gauges. You can control the display using the controls on the steering wheel. This particular one is a multifunction steering wheel. The steering wheel itself has a telescoping and tilting feature, so you can adjust it as you need. When we move the ignition to the right-hand side, we move the light switch to the left-hand side, which is also easily accessible from the ground. The dash has been completely redesigned as well, including the new HVAC controls, which will give you an option to set the temperature. We have customizable switch locations 
as well as an option for a ram mount right here in this position. Tell me more about this bench seat I, that I'm seeing, JT. So this bench seat is the configuration that allows three-person seating. This particular one has a toolbox underneath, so it has a lot of extra storage for equipment. So now, let me show you what we have under the hood. So these new duty models will have our Packard PX7 and PX9, and the standard transmission on these uh, models will be our Packard TX8 8-speed transmission. We will also have a L9N natural gas engine available with air hoods as well. One of the things we paid attention to is to make sure that all of our pre-trip inspection components are on the driver's side. And we repositioned the uh, windshield washer fluid to the frame rail so it's an easy re to reach location here as well. Notice that this has changed from current uh, medium duty. Yes, what we did is uh, we relocated the air cleaner to be uh, mounted over the engine. We also redesigned it so that the air, air filter is panel style and it's easy to replace. We also kept in mind that the uh, service time is important. We kept the uh, light bulb replacement down to under five minutes. We have a brand new cooling module that is uh, mounted a little bit lower between the frame rails, which allows us for this for the slope uh, for the that our slope, customers slope get. Hood, yes. So I've seen the aero hood. What's this vocational hood got to offer? So if you notice, Brandon, this uh, hood sits a little bit higher. It's because the cooling module is mounted on top of the frame rails to give clearance to the front engine PTO. And that's for applications like snow plow or pumper trucks that mount equipment in front of the truck capability of this hood is you have full parent rail extensions to mount that equipment. The other uh, difference is the grill is mounted to the cooling module so it's stationary and the purpose of that is when you open the hood it clears those components that are mounted in front of the truck. Another option that is uh, only available with vocational hoods is 18 to 20k front drive axles for those off-road applications. Great, great to hear the different versatility, all the versatility we have in this new medium duty product. I've got one last question for you, JT. Yeah? Can I take the T480 for a spin? Oh, of course. There you go.